Hi, my name is Bruce Race. I'm founder and CEO of AgVoice. And at AgVoice, we empower food companies to capture traceable data for things like yield, quality, and food safety using just your voice. So if you think about the food that you eat each day, how do you really know uh, that it was grown in a safe and environmentally responsible way? So I, I grew up on a farm in Missouri. My family actually runs a, a 40,000 tree apple orchard of which Walmart is our main customer. So I have some idea of where your apples come from anyway. So let's look at what AgVoice is doing. Let's look at the example of the dairy industry. In this particular case, we'll look at DFA, our flagship partner here. DFA is the world's largest milk provider. Their customers are organizations like Walmart, Chobani, Nestle, Unilever, and beyond. And what those customers are asking for every single day is, tell me about that milk quality. Tell me about the animal care. And prove to me that you're helping me meet those expectations that my consumers are asking for. So what are these goals and what are they trying to accomplish? Walmart and others have very aggressive public sustainability goals around the triple bottom line of people, profit, and planet. In doing that, the basis of all of these uh, commitments and all of the honoring all of these promises is around data. The challenges in agriculture and agri-food today, there is data that is either um, non-existent, incomplete, or inaccurate. And the decisions that the experts that, that make these decisions on a daily basis in agriculture have to do, they make environmental and economic decisions on a daily basis. And there's, a, there's an enormous cost to being late. The data is, is very specific. It's things around irrigation, think about water quality, it's uh, animal health, it's plant health, uh, the medicines they use and the chemicals that are used. So to find out what's going on at the source, we got our hands dirty and we went out to the field. Here's three quick examples. So, First one's in the Salinas Valley of California, just below San Francisco. In that valley alone, each year, the total economic value of fruits and vegetables is $9 billion. Okay? This is a plant inspector. She has a PhD. By the way, she's wearing rubber gloves. She's got a full-size iPad, and she's got a paper clipboard. Oh, by the way, to inspect the plants and the bugs and everything else, she really needs to be using both her hands. In the Midwest, this is a guy doing what's called swimming in the corn, is what the inspectors call it. So corn can grow up to... 12 feet tall, and that's not from the stage, that's from the floor, okay? It's hot, it can be wet, there can be bugs, there can be all kinds of insects out there, and oh, by the way, the screen is completely worthless when it has a shiny cover out on a sunny day. And a final one, this is my favorite, this is an AI inspection that was recently done by an animal technician at the Cornell uh, farm. But that was, he was doing AI, which in this case is artificial insemination. <laughs> so, this is a real, real one, not mocked up, he was marking down his records on a Sharpie. When he gets back to the office, he has to re-record all those in a PC. So imagine you're this inspector, and you need to inspect these 600 cows today. Now you get some idea of this challenge at global scale. So what happens is an aggregate in your global agri-food system, there are billions of dollars lost every year in lost productivity, food waste, and legal issues and food recalls. Here's our solution to that. It's called Ag Voice. So you're going to hear a dairy and a corn example. Okay, and look for no iPad and no tablet. 1315. 1315. Body condition's good. A three. Body condition three. Hygiene's good. One. Hygiene one. Locomotion. Sound is a one. Locomotion one. Hocks and knees. One, good. Hock knee one. Uh, several Japanese beetles feeding on silks and spotted a few southern corn rootworm beetles and one brown stink bug. I can tell everybody has a brown stink bug problem out there. All right, by the way, that was your sweet corn, by the way, so don't have too long. All right, the core of our ser service is a voice form fill solution. That system is able to be customized with a variety of templates. And in doing that, the system can get smarter every day through a combination of machine learning and AI. In this case, it's artificial intelligence. We have the ability to export the data and into any backend system. All the information is geo-referenced. We are designing the system so it can work offline, so it can work in any field. And we are a pure software model, so we're able to scale globally. With that, there are special conditions, as you saw from the video. We leverage third-party devices that have noise cancellation technology to enable the user to work in a hands-free mode.
And finally, we've actually filed our, our two uh, patent filings in a cross-industry way, so that you can imagine that all the places we could go from uh, related industry. Those could be um, logistics, fleet management, trucking, cargo, forestry, and beyond. So our target segments, and I should clarify, our first target users are not farmers. They're this army of experts that are mobile experts that are going out to visit and support the farmers. And their real challenge is that they travel up to 70% of their year going between these different operations. Our initial traction is in fruit, vegetable, and dairy. We're moving on quickly to food safety, row crops, and animal health. The benefits to these users of the Ag Voice service are extremely clear. They can spend as much as one third of their day in data collection mode. We can save them one or two hours a day. And my favorite use case is we have a couple of them by which we can take certain tasks that currently require two people down to a one person task, effectively doubling their productivity. So the market itself is an $8 billion uh, market in total for data science in global agri-food. Our specific business model is an enterprise model leveraging uh, enterprise licensing. And our goal this year is to win six enterprise customers. We've signed two of them. The third one's just a couple weeks away. And with that run rate, by the end of the year, we'll have a half million dollar run rate going into 2018. So these are our first customers. Uh, you might know some of the names. Driscoll's is the world's largest berry grower. H.M. Kloss is the world's second largest vegetable seed grower, right behind Monsanto. And DFA, as you now know, is the world's largest milk marketeer. These are uh, wonderful, innovative customers, and they are collecting very precious data. So I need to be very clear up front. The customers own the data. But on the Ag Voice side, what we have rights to is basically metadata that allows the system to become smarter every day from the location intelligence, knowing the history, and so forth around the, the user as they go throughout the fields. So this is just a preview into our pipeline. These may be a variety of household names that you know. The common themes are they are big, they are global, and they all have traceability concerns or needs. We are out to, to make Ag Voice the industry standard benchmark. To do that, we are certain we can't do it alone. We're working on an API that could enable existing software providers to extend their reach to all the different pieces of the global agri-food industry. A little bit about our team. I uh, actually led technology marketing at the world's third largest tractor company. John, who's with us, our chief experience officer, he led experience design at a number of award-winning products at IBM and Lenovo. And Jeff Adams led research and development for the breakthrough Amazon Alexa. So we're here in New York because we want to meet with investors. We're opening a $1 million seed round. And maybe even more importantly, even if you're not in the space and you know somebody that is, we would love an introduction. Thank you.